we've seen some prayers answered. And we've seen some prayers not get answered. The question is, what's the difference between the two? Why does God answer some? And it seems as if he's not answering the other. So I want to talk through the factors that can affect prayer. Factors that can affect prayer. Hallelujah. He's the one that said, call unto me and I will answer you. And show you great and mighty things that you do not know. He said, call. So when we call, he said he will answer. But how come sometimes it seems as if he's not answering? I mean, let, let, let's be realistic. Let's not get religious. Because it's easy to say, ah, God always answers. God is a prayer answering God. Yes, he is. But sometimes there are some things you pray for. God just keep quiet. And you wonder, am I praying? What was going on? Right? Praise God. We must understand the rules that govern prayer. Prayer has rules. I hope we understand that. Prayer has what? What is the number one rule of prayer? The number one rule is this. Is it the will of God? Is it his will? If we are praying and the prayer is not in his will, he is not obligated to hear us. Yes or no? So that's the number one rule. Is it in the will of God? How do we know the will of God? How do we know the will of God? God bless you. God's word. What does his word say? Is what I'm asking for in his word. Can you find a biblical reference that will back up what you're asking? Another rule of prayer is you must understand the type of prayer you're praying. When you're supposed to warfare and you're praying petitioner prayers, what will be the result? Do we even know the difference between warfare and petition? Or is warfare a type of petition? There's a difference between the two. Now, when you're supposed to warfare, you start praying petition of prayers. You must know the type of prayer that fits the situation at hand. So that we're not praying the wrong type of prayer at the wrong time. I want us to think about a question. If God doesn't answer you, will you still worship him? No. Think, don't, don't be quick to answer. Think. If God doesn't bless me, will I still worship him? If God doesn't heal me, will I still worship him? If God doesn't provide for me, is he still my God? If we cannot settle that, we have not started. If the reason why we come to God is to get prayers answered, it is wrong. It is what? Wrong. We don't come to God to get prayers answered. God wants a relationship. So, the first comment says the heart. Where is the heart? Second Chronicles 7.14 if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble, humble themselves and pray and seek my face. If our heart is not in humility, will God hear? No, will God hear? No. Can I say something? And don't look at me funny when I say it. Don't pray that God will answer all your prayers. There are some prayers that are bad for you. But God knows they are bad for you. So he won't hear it. He's the one that knows tomorrow. We don't. What we're asking for today, we don't know the consequences of that thing tomorrow. God knows. 
the blessing that will kill us. I pray God won't give it to us. We're still talking about prayer. The rules that govern prayer. Number one was what? It must be the will of God. Number two, not in the order of importance now, right? Your heart must be right with God. Hallelujah. Number three, what type of prayer are you praying? Number four, humility. Praise God. Somebody's listening. Humility. Humility. It's part of getting our heart right with God. Number five, with what authority are you praying? So in what authority are we praying? And who is qualified to use the authority? So what is the authority of our prayer? Jesus. Jesus. Somebody say Jesus. Oh, shout it out loud. It is the authority for prayer. If we were to summarize everything, we pray so you can worship praise God number two you pray for how you want things to be number three you pray against the things that you don't want that's it you can categorize every prayer into those three buckets one is for your relationship with God two is for the things you want and three is for the things you don't want up your two hands unto him. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you. May the Lord make a way for you, even where there seems to be no way. And when you wake up in the morning, may you be favored. When you get home in the evening, may favor be waiting for you. In the mighty name of Jesus, the hands you have lifted unto God shall never be disappointed. The hands you have lifted unto God shall never lack. And the hands you have lifted unto God shall never wither. In the mighty name of Jesus. So as you go, may God go ahead of you. And may God go with you. And may God go behind you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, our Lord and our Savior. In Jesus' name, we have prayed.